welcome to journey with my journals um thank you for journeying you know i just can't stop thanking you thanking you for the support and all that and um, we don't know where god is taking us so we will continue the journey yeah power to the journey power to the journey <laughs> all right um saturday saturday i woke up and i had this song in my heart and i love this song there are so many songs that uh, oh my goodness there are so many every season of my life there's a season of songs that carry me through so there's this song that i woke up with saturday morning because i was supposed to do a video saturday evening but uh, was exhausted from work came home um so i'm going to lie down and you know get a five minute and then wake up and do a video <laughs> i did not get to do that i fell asleep and so um what i was going to talk about saturday night i want to talk about it tonight because when i look back on april 20 2020 this day i was still uh, talking to the Lord about uh, relationships so um, the song is uh, you are all that matters I'll put you in front you and I Jesus you are all that matters you are all that matters I'll make room for two, you and I, Jesus, you are all that matters, you are all that matters. And I tell you, um, on this journey, that is uh, the process, because me of myself cannot put him in front, but him through me. So that song really ministered to me. I was even saying to me, Father, if you don't even want me to do this YouTube channel anymore, whatever you say, that is the mindset. That's where I am going. What it have to be Jesus in front, in front of everything. So whatever I'm saying, because him same other missteps, him say him alone know the plans for me. So I just look on this doing this channel even as a test that um being obedient you know he said to do something and and just to obey even if i do not get a million subscribers you know but knowing that i had obeyed so i want to i want to just reverse to 2015 i don't know whoever is watching this i don't know if you have ever been consumed with with something with a, a challenge with a, um an addiction you know and feel like you are so bound to it that you cannot break free from it i remember when i started this journey um 2013 I went to the altar in 2013 I um, gave my heart to the Lord I you know was going like practicing it because to understand some people think say you know if you don't get baptized you know and all of that you know so I never got baptized till April but uh, I got saved and a baptism savior you know baptism is something that um, you know Jesus did it so it is to show the world that uh, you are but you have to change from up here so because if you don't change from up here so baptism going to church does not make sense and that is why the word of God said transform your mind so I you know got saved and you know was on fire for God going for God and all of that you know and you know seeing God manifesting in my life 
and I remember, you know, there was a um, there was a journey part of the journey where we had to fast regular and go on these long fasting and all of that. And you know, I enthused as a as a young Christian and. Uh, even not being in a relationship because I had put away a relationship way before I started going to church because I'm saying that I, you know, I need a change in my life. I need to, like, give men a break. So, no relationships and all of that until, you know, going to church and all of that. So, I was on a roll, 2013 going on. And I remember 2015, I'm not forgetting, 2015, I mean, I, I know, I knew this person way before, I knew this person way before, I never had any feelings for the person, and uh, I uh, got, uh, you know, into a conversation with the person, an event actually brought us together, an event, you know. We went to an event, not us going together, but we, you know, met at an, met at an event and, uh, you know, start talking and all of that and realized that we had so much in common except church. So, um, I, uh, you know, we're talking and all of that uh, and then, uh, you know, we started talking regular now, texting and all these things and realizing that uh, it, it seems like uh, feelings were underneath somewhere because honestly in a me not in a me past life I would not be involved with this person I would not because this person have a reputation with women so me uno they with him so if you see me and him involved going to church i knew it was not right i knew something was wrong with the whole situation but uh, i got sucked in and uh, i started making stupid choices and all these things and getting away till i felt i could not do without this person I felt like I'm so consumed with this person and there was such a struggle because I still got church, I still, the anointing still on me and all of that. So I knew it was wrong, but it's like I cannot break free from it. So me and the Lord, as I say, my journal, everything, so, and this is how I talk to the Lord, so me and the Lord, I even ask the Lord, why I can't have this person, because this feels so right, so why I can't have this person, and all of that, and I remember, I think it was at April, so I was trying to find that note, when it dropped in my spirit, the Lord said, cut this person off, cut this person off, no texting, nothing, cut this person off, and, um, I didn't cut him off like right away when I and and the thing about it is as as we journey as we journey I mean that relationship as we journey I realize like some odds were coming against us you know I I saw I saw God fight for me I saw God fight for me where this relationship is concerned I, because this was consuming me and as I, as I get ready for work Saturday morning when I was singing that song I'll put you in front it's like the Holy Spirit said you were supposed to um, give up you were not supposed to make it this far 8 years I was not supposed to make it 8 years in that time I was supposed to leave the church like leave the body of Christ that's what the Holy Spirit was depositing in me and I wanted to bring that Saturday night but fell asleep and I just felt like bringing that now actually that was not even a plan for today I mean they tell us that nothing don't happen by chance nothing not happen by chance because I was supposed to do something different tonight and it didn't work out because it was with one of my daughters and they said that um, they don't want to do it tonight so another day and it's like the Holy Spirit I said God I don't know what to bring tonight 
and it just drop in my spirit bring relationship and go back to there and I tell you for somebody who seem like they're so bound bound in drugs bound in sex bound in pro um pornography bound in um in in whatever stronghold even some financial issues you may hold this and hold that and and probably have to be hiding and all of that listen god can deliver i saw god fight for me i saw i see times where me and this man we were planning to link up and all of that when i'm not sitting around with him care it's rain or something you know God said, cut this person off. Cut him off. No texting, nothing. Do not have anything to do with this person. And I saw God fought for me in this situation. And I asked when I asked somebody nothing. When I tell the guy, he even said, listen to me. I'm going to leave you alone because I don't want God to kill me. Honestly, as I sit here, God fought for me. And... As as I as I speak this it, this it reminds me of this song. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. God delivers. God is real, and my desire is to tell my story, so people hearts can be open to find out that God is real. God is so real. Jesus is so real. God is more than going to church. I always tell people that God is more than getting up uh, uh, whichever day you want to worship and go to church. God is more than that. I never knew that I would get out of that. Me of myself would be in it and who knows the disgrace, who knows what would come out of that relationship I do not know but God saw and God and the thing about it is well a lot of people probably knew they probably think oh you know maybe that is nothing or whatever um, I believe that uh, sacrifice because a lot of time we love things and we are asked to give it up. A lot of time we hold on to it and do not give it up. And we bear the consequences. And this is why this song matters to me. Because I want to put God in front. No relationship, nothing matters than Him. I don't want him at the side or cut off, you know. I want him in front of me and him because me of myself cannot do this journey. But him in me, the word of God said I can do anything through Jesus Christ who give me strength. And that is so real. That is so real. And the thing about it is there have to be a part two and a part three of this. Because in spite of all that, in spite of that, and, and, and falling, and, and Jesus picking me up and brushing me off, because there's purpose still in me. And, and he said, he sent me on my way, and to get another try, because of the mercy of God, because of the grace of God. And I, I do not want to take that for granted. I do not want to take that for granted. And if, and if, his choice for me is to be alone, I am reaching a place where I am content with it. I don't want that to be just talk. I want to get to a place where if being single is what he wants for me, even up to last year, in that of, uh, I, I didn't want to be single. I didn't want to be single. Lonely, no good. 
I lonely I'm not used to being by myself but I am getting to a place where I want to make impurity of my life and everything else is icing on the cake I want to be focusing on him and then input everything else in place I just want to thank you for journeying with me uh, you never know you never know you never know what to expect you never know but you got to like share and subscribe to journey all right so thank you thank you so much